Hello everybody, and what is up? We're back at it again at Dolphin Seed Gaming. Today we will be doing how to take care of horses. And before I get into anything major, please like, subscribe, and slap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Today, we will be, once again, like I said earlier, we will be doing horses for beginners. So the necessary equipment, usually is if you're doing it small scale, is is necessarily usually a trailer you could use a pickup and um, tractors it, you definitely want um, a tractor with a front loader with a both a bale spike and a pallet fork and so first uh, what you need to do is um, find the space for your horse and if you want I can do a um, video about similar to this on cows or pigs or sheep etc because that and if you want just tell out me tell that to me in the comments and I'll be sure to do it so first you want to go to the main menu and go to lands and hit space to buy the area this is the best the area I just bought is the best area for this because it's right by the shop and field 20 is a hay field Hello everybody, and what is up? We're back at it again at Dolphin Seed Gaming. Today we will be doing how to take care of horses. And before I get into anything major, please like, subscribe, and slap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Today, we will be, once again, like I said earlier, we will be doing horses for beginners. So the necessary equipment, usually is if you're doing it small scale, is is necessarily usually a trailer you could use a pickup and um, tractors it, you definitely want um, a tractor with a front loader with a both a bale spike and a pallet fork and so first uh, what you need to do is um, find the space for your horse and if you want I can do a um, video about similar to this on cows or pigs or sheep etc because that and if you want just tell out me tell that to me in the comments and I'll be sure to do it so first you want to go to the main menu and go to lands and hit space to buy the area this is the best the area I just bought is the best area for this because it's right by the shop and field 20 is a hay field Alright, so as you can see, we have all of our vehicles in the land that we just bought. And so now we want to get all of the necessary buildings. So go to your shop and go to the placeables section. Then go to animal pens and, and find the horse paddock that is appropriate for the area. So the, the normal horse paddock is necessary for this. But you, as you can just saw, I didn't have enough money. Fortunately, there's a mod for this, and if you want to check it out more and go into more detail into it, go to my top mods for FS19 mo video. You could see that. You could check. Go go ahead and check that out. So you want to do CTRL, ALT, and zero, and as you can see, just added a million to my bank account. So let's jump over to Animal Pens once more and grab the normal horse pack. So let's throw it in right here. There we go. Now you, we're going to want a shed to store our vehicles in. So let's put that right there. And finally, um, we are going to want a water station for, to give our horses water. So we're going to set that right there. So as you can see, now we have all of our stuff. So first let's, um, so first let's get our horses. So you could come over here and do, and open the animal dialogue. And, and you could see all the horses in there in, in plenty of different colors. They come in gray, pinto, pal palomino, chestnut, bay, black, seal brown, and dun. So we're going to get a dun, a seal brown, a bay, and a pinto. And then hit space to conform. And as you can see, all of your, the horses that you just got in here. And remember, there's a max horse capacity. Guys, this is one of the most realistic farming games out there. So now we're going to want to jump over to a Bendit favorite type 
11C and go fill up a water tank and give our horses water. Um, a water tank is very easy to distinguish because it, the container is more full and and it also doesn't slant down to the side. As you can see, we're almost full of water. There's a fun glitch. You can look inside of this tank. Alright, so let's drive into the water and fill it up. And keep in mind that this will not fill up all the way, so don't trust that you can really fill it every time. As a matter of fact, you could actually, um, sorry, you could actually just fill it up and then detach it and leave it down. And when you fill it up, just detach it again and fill it. So then you, you detach it. And we're, gonna, and we're just going to sit right here in my favorite. So now it's, and so now, and always make sure you know that when you have, so this is the bales, like you don't need that. And also you can buy or make bales in the shop for your horses with some of food options, but it's best not to do that. So let's jump over to our nasty Ferguson and drive right over to the, food, to the normal food area. Another way how to do this is just, is, is just fill on it up with the drain, but we're going to do it the old fashioned way. So we're going to unfasten the tanks of the belts and jump over to the hard down there with the pallet. Roll it down and go grab And also, a tip for this is you can actually go into the cockpit wheel and have a lot better understanding of where your pallet is. Or you could go up to the side. So let's grab Make sure it's nice and centered with the bottom. So let's get it up like that. And as you can see, we even have a horse right now that wants to stay. And as you can see, it's going up the food slowly to sure. And when this series is done feeding them, as you can see, there's barely any. You can go to the main menu and go to your animal section. And as you can see, there's also names. So we're so you can rename them. So like this one's named Jake, Jacob, Remington, and Corizon. So if you don't like the names that it, you automatically give it, just hit space, and you can name it whatever you want. So we're gonna name this Bob. All right. So now that horse right there is named Bob. And so another, and now we're gonna want to check that how much food they have. Um. So they have a low amount of oh, but you could just replace that every once in a while if you want. So they have enough for at least one or two days, actually. So now we're going to move on to taking care of your horses. And if you want, you could do straw blowing. It does help them, and you could also reproduce horses. But So you could also ride them, so go up to them and press E. And as you can see, you're riding them now. And the more times you press um, W, the more times... Um, uh, and the faster we'll get, and you could go up to um, you could go up to Gallop, and you need to ride them daily because that increases their value and health. And the main idea of horses is to either have them for fun, and having horses is something fun to do when you're like um, waiting for your crops to grow. But you could also make them really, really nice and expensive. So we're going to stop real fast and go to that dialogue. So we're, and we're going to jump over to Bob. And as you can see, um, and as you can see, he's worth two thousand dollars. And, and some people may, has may, have made up to even twenty thousand. So I could, if I, if so, if you get up to as many horses you have, that's forty thousand right there. And also, you can also um, ride them wherever you want. In most maps, if you go up um, further up from where we are right now. There's actually a training station where you could like do a horse obstacle course, and also um you don't stress out about having to um once you're done riding just ride back to your um ride back 
Apache or Cadoc. Cadoc, sorry. Um, you could actually just leave it for a certain amount of time, and you'll um, and it'll magically go there. Like you jumped on a flying carpet, flew into the paddock, and got off, and the carpet flew away, sort of. So um, yeah, and you could also jump using space and hurry and slow down. And you could also press S to walk backwards, and then to turn is the normal W A S D controls. And then to exit them, you just press E. Just like you did when you came in. But you also want to clean them, so I'm going to go up to him. And you, as you can see, it says clean Bob. So I just clean, I'm, so I just clean Bob. And that also improves their, um, they, their price. And that's pre pretty much the basics. If you are using bales, use your bale spike tractor. And, um, once again, if you want to, to suggest any future videos, just slap it right down in the comments. It, and I will do that video. Thank you so much for watching. And oh, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and slap that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.